Welcome to CSET Biology DCP. I'm Mr. Wilson from the TCP Academy. Today we're looking at the Agriculture Science Single Award paper for the May June 2023 exam. We're going to be looking at question number three that focuses on germination. Before we move, please be reminded to like, share, and of course subscribe. When you subscribe, remember to hit that notification bell and select all so you'll be notified as soon as there's a new publication. We want you to also like this video so it'll be added to your playlist that should, in case this video is turned off, you still have access to the video. Remember to share the video so you'll have more of such video ending in your inbox. We want you to also leave us a comment, tell us where you are from, and if possible, we can call you up. And without further ado, let's hop right into question number three. Section two. Answer all questions in this section. Write your answers in the spaces provided in this booklet. List two external conditions necessary for the germination of seeds and one reason why each condition is important. Now, this question is typical for both biology and agriculture. Conditions would be water, one, oxygen, two, and suitable temperature is going to be three. The importance of water is to activate the enzymes, which is called a chemical reaction, within oxygen will be needed for aerobic respiration provide that energy that is needed for the growth of the seed into a seedling. On a recent visit to Karen's Plant Propagation Center, it was observed that all the tomato seedlings in the greenhouse were growing in a particular direction as seen in figure one. So here the plants are growing towards the right and it suggests that that direction in which we're going to be finding the light source, be the sun or other light source, but that's where we're going to be getting the larger portion of the light entering this area. Say the main reason for the observation. Your expression might be different. Let's look at two different expressions here. The sun or the light is getting to the plant from one direction. Or one might say plants are growing towards the light. So just two possible ways in which this issue can be avoided. Allow the plants to get full access to light from all around. So you could choose a suitable shade cloth that would permit the sun's light energy to enter the shade house so as to ensure that the plants grow towards the light above rather than to the side. Now, another thing that we could do would be corrective for this, for this situation is to turn the trays so that they will straighten up as it will start bending to the other side to go upward. Other than turning the tray and using a suit, we could put the plants on the outside to make sure that there is adequate lighting. Or we could use artificial light on the inside to assist with the growth. Figure 2 shows the ingredients in a brand of fertilizer. The guaranteed analysis states that it has 8% nitrogen, 0% phosphate, and of course 24 Identify the major nutrient that is lacking in fertilizer. So our major nutrients are macronutrients. It's going to be NPK, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. So the phosphate there is pharmatony, use this fertilizer alone on his lettuce crop what effect would this fertilizer have on his crop give one reason for the answer effect on crop the crop would enjoy what we call a stunted growth they would have poor root development and the leaves would show purple these would show bands of purple color on them Reason, the plant is pretty much deficient in phosphorus. And phosphorus, of course, promotes root growth. So with the deficiency, it's going to take on that stunted characteristic. That takes us to the end of question number three for the 2023 Agriculture Single Award Examination.
notification. If you have not yet liked, share, or subscribed, it's definitely time for you to do so. And when you do so, remember to click that notification bell and select all so you'll be notified as soon as there is a new publication. Remember to like the video so it will be added to your playlist and share the video so that more videos will come to you. We also want you to leave us a comment. Tell us where you are from and if possible, which school you attend. You can also tell us what the exam was like for you as this was a penitentiary exam which passed a couple of days ago. We want you to look at the screen at the end of this video. Watch to the end of the video. You're going to be seeing playlists with both paper two and paper one multiple choice for this agriculture examination. You are also going to be seeing links to human and social biology past papers and biology past papers. As I usually say, remember to study to show thyself approved. Get help with CSET Biology SBA Labs and Human and Social Biology SBA Labs at tcp-academy.com. Tim had questions. He wanted to know where he could get help with his SBA Labs. His parents searched but could not find that experience. Tim also made some calls, however, could not find the help he needed. Tim needed an experience he could trust to help him get over the hurdle of SBAs as success was in sight. He met the guides from tcp-academy.teachable.com and they designed a program to help him. tcp-academy.teachable.com was able to help him. So too, they can help you. Sign up tcp-academy.teachable.com for help with your SBAs in biology and human and social biology.